Hey guys, welcome back to my Liquid Chrome channel. Today's Watch Me Work is brought to you by blues. <laughs> and these blues are all from the nailthrone.com. I am going to try my best to recreate what I have used here. I filmed this for you a really long time ago. And because of that, I no longer have the list on my phone for some reason of the products that I use. I always make a special list. It doesn't appear to be there. So I am going to tell you out of my collection what I am fairly certain that I've used today. I am using the Ugly Duckling tips here and I've purchased those from AR Nail Supply. They are linked down below. I have started out using sky blue and I'm using it quite wet as you can see. I'm also using an iridescent glitter here like an iridescent glitter acrylic and this one I believe is earth I love earth it's one of my favorite favorite ones that glitter bells makes out of all of the iridescents I think I like um pink crush is it called pink crush I love that one almost equally as much but it's pink and we are working with blues today so I'm just kind of coming in and taking my time. I think that is one of the secrets to being able to do some of these ombres and layers. You have to have the right consistency and you have to have kind of the right temperature in your room too. So don't forget about that. When you're trying to learn how to do ombres and when you're trying to learn how to fake colors, if you have it too hot or too cold in your room, it can really make a big difference. So try not to forget about that. Don't be too hard on yourself if it's not working out. Don't forget, it can't be too hot or too cold. Um, too hot is going to make it dry faster, which is going to make it a little harder to work with, of course, depending on what you're doing. I do go on later in the video to do some 3D work, and I do actually like it just a little bit warmer in the room when I do 3D work, if at all possible. Of course, I, I really don't make allowances for this, but if I can have it a little bit warmer, it will dry that much quicker and it feels like I can do more with it. Of course, that is all personal preference. I'm adding a few North Stars in here too because those North Stars are just so, so, so pretty. And when I first got them, my thought was Christmas, I guess. Um, I don't know whether it was the name of them or just because they were stars or what, but I dug them out for this and realized, what the heck, you can use stars at any point, at any time. So I am using the Hema Free Monomer here. You can't see it in the picture, but you can also get that uh, through the nailthrone.com, of course, linked below. I'm using Glass Slippers, which is their clear core powder. And it is, guys, so clear, so clear. You don't have to worry about anything when you're putting this over your design. It doesn't fog anything up at all. I am using the Glitter Bells brushes as well, and I will be using the Glitter Bells 3D brush going forward when I do the 3D. I've left in me leaving the screen and picking up more product. And the reason being, when you're watching a tutorial and when you're trying to figure out exactly what's up for timing when you're doing acrylic sometimes it really does matter and it really does help to know how long the tech is leaving that pearl or that bead to be able to settle before we're coming back in and mixing another color in like I've done here or swirling it or marbling it or doing 3D, whatever it is that's happening. So I really, I, I like to leave those in because I want you to be able to see what's going on and how long that's taking because if they're not being left in, then I really don't feel like you're, you're really, really seeing it. I am using a little bit of the porcelain core powder here to be able to kind of marble this. I didn't want it to be like stark white um, marbled. I, I just wanted it to be kind of lightly marbled. So that's why there's not a huge color difference there.
I'm finishing up with North Star and a little bit of Earth. I also have a little bit of like angel paper flake stuff that I have gotten maybe from Amazon. I can't quite remember where it ever came from. I'd have had it for ages. And just a little bit more of a glitter acrylic just to give it that sheen that I kind of wanted on this nail. I'm capping this nail with Glitter Bells glass slippers as well. You should always cap your designs with the clear glass slippers. The colored acrylics aren't really made to have the strength to wear, uh, whereas the core acrylics are. When I lay that pearl down, you can see on the blue, there's a little bit of a sheen to it. And I was waiting, that, that took a bit because I was waiting for that sheen to mattify just a little tiny bit before I came in with that glitter, just so that everything didn't run to the sides all at once and I wouldn't have to chase it. Also with moving it around like this and I'm going out of, out of frame and wiping my brush I'm wiping it because I'm actually pulling some of the liquid out of the acrylic as well and that's allowing it to dry a little bit faster, to tack up a little bit faster so that I can come in and put my angel paper on it. If I would have put that angel paper on it and it would have still been super, super wet and flowy, uh, number one, I would have been chasing it and number two, it would have kind of buried the angel paper. Um, not that it allows it to sink because it's not heavy enough to do that, but it kind of envelops it in the monomer that is sitting on top that has yet to evaporate. And I didn't want to have to chase that. I've used a little bit more of the porcelain powder in the center of this design. I wanted it again to have a marbled look without being terribly marbled. I wanted it all to be very soft. Coming in kind of with my same glitter. So what's happening is you're seeing um, kind of all the same design, but in different ways, different ways that you can do this same design. I had a lot of fun with these. I do really love blues, so it wasn't hard to pick out the colors. I tend to gravitate towards the same ones as I think we do. So I have left a little bit of time between one pearl and the next of glass slippers because I didn't want that to drag. When you are capping over, you do need to leave just a little bit of time so that your design underneath, especially where I've used that angel paper, I kind of, or that, and the glitter, I, I want that to be kind of a little bit more solid before I come and drag over. I don't want it to move. I've gotten it kind of placed where I wanted it.
I'm also putting these on in such a manner that I won't have to do a whole lot of finish filing afterwards. These are tips and they are going on a mannequin hand. Uh, filing afterwards, finish filing is not necessarily the easiest on these tips. So I do like to try to make sure the product, I, you know, I, I try this on a daily basis to make sure that the product's going on in a manner that you don't have to file your guts out, so to speak, in order to make them pretty and perfect. Uh, but I really try with these to not have to do a whole lot of filing after. Now coming into the 3D, this is truly one of my favorite parts of anything. I am using the Snowballs White uh, Acrylic Core Powder. I'm using it quite dry and I am using the Glitter Bells 3D Acrylic Brush. Waiting for that pearl or bead to set up the way it needs to is probably for me the trickiest part. I need to wait for that to be dry but not too dry. I need to wait for it to still be moldable but yet hold its shape because you don't want to chase it. I also need to, you know, it takes me a few minutes sometimes to be able to figure out how much product I'm putting down. I, to this point, have not done any 3D in quite a while. So this was like, I can remember having the thought right at this point, why am I doing 3D on camera? Like, why am I putting this on camera for the first time? Because it's been so long since I've done it, but it's on camera. It's here. It's not perfect. They did not turn out 
exactly how I wanted them to turn out, but you know what? They turned out and they are fine and it is okay. I am still using the same acrylic monomer here, drying my brush out. The background, the white background that you see here are the OPI Expert Touch table towels. And I really like them. I really like them, especially for filming. I don't use them for doing clients, but for filming, they provide the matte white background and I can just wipe my brush on them wherever I see fit. I didn't really want to go too far from the design when I was wiping because I, I just didn't want to. I didn't want it to get past that point. It only takes a second for it to get past that point where it's too dry and you, you can't maneuver it anymore and then you're in trouble. Then basically you're removing it or filing it off. So the base of that actually got too dry. That's kind of why I'm picking it off there. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really affect anything when it comes to the design, but it did get quite dry, uh, and which meant I had to pick it off of there. Meaning I probably could have started the entire petal just a few seconds sooner. Also, as you can see, this nail has been finished filed and top coated. I forgot to mention that. So it is top coated with Glitter Bell's No Wipe Top Coat. Uh, that is making it a little bit slippery, a little bit slick, which I'm trying to use to my advantage, but you don't always want that. Just keep in mind that because that works for me in this design doesn't mean it's going to work for me in my next design or for you in your design. So I'm bravely coming in here. I wasn't gonna do this, but I decided to with a second layer of petals. Now this, this can be tricky. This can be real tricky sometimes. And sometimes it just, it really doesn't work, but it did work for me today. And I am so glad because that would have been really embarrassing. I'm fairly sure at this point I was sweating. There is also that special place where you've maneuvered the pedal too far. I almost always go there. I almost always push it too far with these pedals. And the reason why I picked up that second bead was because I was trying, I was trying to convince myself to leave the first one alone. Now this one gets a little bit weird. I'm leaving it. I'm trying to let it dry. I don't want it to soak in, kind of soak into its own background as it's kind of doing. Uh, so that means the bead was a little bit wet when I put it down. Not a big deal. Easy fix, but just annoying when you know better. So this is not going to get top coated. This is going to get left as it is. And I am going to come in with some rhinestones after, uh, which is why I haven't been terribly um, consistent with the bottom of where the petals go because I am coming in, I am coming in after with rhinestones. And I knew that. I'm using the Sticket and a micro swab. These micro swabs are so amazing. I love them. I use them for absolutely everything. I'm just laying down some sticket where I think I would like to have some stones and then I'm going to put them on. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We will be back to our vlogs. If you want more Watch Me Works, let me know. I'll see what I can do.